Hey guys, welcome back. So today is a, a little bit of an update because I have been somewhat out of commission for obvious reasons. If you saw my last video, uh, I've got multiple videos that will be posted relatively soon that are going to be all out of order, which is going to be interesting. So, um, so yeah. Um, but I just want to do a little follow-up with the, uh, the mask video. So if you've seen my last few videos, I did a digital scan of this mask, not a digital scan, I did a photogrammetry scan using just my cell phone, which I'm shooting this with now, uh, in a program called Meshroom. And I created a, a digital file of this, uh, a mesh that was you needed a lot of cleanup, and then I took it into ZBrush, did some modifications to make it fit my live cast, and uh, did some cleanups and detailing, etc. Got it to like a, a base point where it's kind of looking good, and then I did a little 3D print, miniature version of it. Now, you can see the little line here. That's kind of where the mask would go. And this is actually me underneath the, uh, underneath the mask. So, uh, and I've made it a little more symmetrical. Let me see if I can put this, ah, I don't want to break it. Like the same size-ish. Now one's obviously closer to the camera, so it's going to look weird. But it came out pretty good. Now there were some... Uh, modifications done to this as far as scale so like the nostrils had to come a little bit further apart because i actually scaled the whole head down a little bit but i see out of the nostrils so the nostrils are a little bit uh further apart than they are on here which uh this one the, this mask is is pretty big so it'll you know fit on my head easier but this one is going to be silicone when it's done again full scale um yeah it came out pretty nice uh the little this little print like a lot of little detail came out on there. And this isn't the, let me see if I can get the focus. There we go. How's that? Um, a lot of little detail printed really nice. And I'm going to do a review of my Nova 3D Binet 4 3D printer. It's a resin printer. And uh, I'll have that soon in the next few days because I was literally waiting to finish this and then do that review. But I figured I would show you guys where this is at. So you can see there's kind of like a, a, a physical representation of that digital scan. So basically scan, do some ZBrush, make a print, scaled print, but you know, you see that it can work. So if you're interested in, you know, mimicking an, a real life item and you need to digitize it and want to print it, um, you see a few videos ago, my thing on doing mesh room and it's pretty freaking cool in my opinion. So I'll be doing more on this, on the real version of this mask to make a full size one. It's going to have like under skull, maybe some light animatronics, just some like maybe like an eye blink mechanism. Um, and a few other things I was considering in the process of changing the scale. I realized that some of the parts aren't going to line up with my face quite how I want without drastically changing the look. So I have figured out some ways that I'm going to work around that as well. So it should be a pretty interesting process. I'm gonna be doing more of those, basically like recording myself live as I work on this. And I'll just post those as I go. So there won't be any surprise updates. But anyway, figured I'd show this. Um, I'm gonna get back to a couple other projects I'm doing. And then um, I'll have a review on that new 3D printer. And like I said, next few days, hopefully in like less than two days if, I'm, if I keep it together. And um, yeah, some other videos to uh, Updates, uh, video updates, other videos about just random stuff that I've been trying to piece together from, you know, heaps of clips. So thanks for stopping by. I'm going to get the heck out of here and uh, I'll see you kids soon. Later.